Hello DGCC, I'm Nancy, your membership director, and I am here with Russ, and we're gonna do a little Q&A, learn a little bit about Russ. So Russ, why don't you tell us, how did you, how and when did you get involved in golf? Me getting in golf, let's think about that. Well, see, as you can tell, I'm not a very strong person, so I couldn't do football. I love basketball, but I only scored about 1.2 point, points a game, and I can't get the net. So, so I really, you sat. You sat. Uh, no, I tried. <laughs> you know, I was that guy that was last on the bench. So I didn't. I couldn't do that. I don't like to fish because I don't like the worm. I don't like to hunt because I don't want to kill something and then have to clean it up. So my talent level it only leads it to golf because, I mean, I feel like that. You know. My teacher told me I wasn't overly strong, overly fast, or overly talented. So I guess I felt like that was the best sport that could pick me up. So I started at 12. Yeah, that'd you be started a good at answer. 12. Okay. Well, and it's worked out for you. I don't know. Sometimes it does. <laughs> Sometimes it does. So how long have you been teaching then? I've been teaching. Let's see. We started. I started. At, I started teaching when I can when I turned pro in '90. So you're probably talking about 32 years. I've been teaching. So I was eight years old in 90. Don't start that. <laughs> Don't start that. So tell us, um, how long have you been here at Dalton Golf and Country Club? Golly. Well, I was assistant. No, no, I was, I've been here, I, I came here in May 19, 19, I came in the 1900s. So that was <laughs> two decades ago, you know, it was 1992. So okay. 30, 31 years, starting my 31 year here at okay. DG and CC. Okay. So since since you've been here, you've gone through and you've you've added some certifications to yourself. So tell us about what the certifications. Certifications, you, have. you know, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of you know. I, I liked when I was younger. I liked, when I was going through, I like to get a lot of certifications. Okay, I'm a certified golf machine instructor. I'm a certified U.S. Kids instructor. I'm a certified TPI. I got my master professional. You know, there's a lot of certification. I think I was, I think I was doing more certifications, just trying to find. I probably could be a certified bikini inspector, a certified <laughs> nut job. There's a lot of sign. There's a lot of different things that certifications that I plan on getting. No, I'm just kidding on that. <laughs> well, well, it sounds like you have our members uh, all set for anything that they need. <laughs> I guess. So. What kind of personal goals do you have for yourself? personal goals for myself no I think I think being personal goals for personally I like to do is I want I like to teach so I want all my students to enjoy their round enjoy their lessons improving their golf game I'm more into what and my students I really care about them more I want them to improve you know that's that's on a serious note that's what uh, I want to keep getting better at teaching and getting my students better that's what I, that's what I want to well that's a good goal to have yeah I like that I that's think that's a pretty good idea what what motivates you? Oh man, you let me tell you what. You, there's nothing motivates me. You know, you when you're when you're here at Dalton Country Club, there's nothing motivates me than getting a good chewing out. You know what <laughs> I mean? I, I mean, well, we don't all like that. Well, I know, I know. So what it motivates you? Okay, well, you, if I don't get this done, then this per, then this person's gonna get me, get on me. If I don't get this done, this person's gonna. So motivation is trying to do it right trying to get up there, you know, I don't want to get in trouble. I really don't motivate me. You know, Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan used to practice two or three hours before they before the before the game. Me, I'm just worried about getting just making sure that I do what I'm supposed to do and try to keep my head focused on the right thing and what's going on. I don't want to get you out. You know, I mean that's <laughs> that's just a goal. That's a personal goal. And that that motivates me every day right there. Well, I've personally seen you get chewed out, so. We well, that's that what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Often. That's motivation. In that, mo in that motivation. <laughs> yes, it is motivation. Um, over the years, we're not going to name how old, but over the years, I'm sure you've had a hero or somebody that you looked up to. Okay. Yeah. And has that hero changed throughout the years? Okay. Now, on a personal note, on that, on that. Now, I've got to do this. This is just this is just part of my beliefs and everything. My my number one hero jesus christ i love jesus i love that i think that's he is my hero no matter what mm -hmm. but on earthly you know on earth uh on earth heroes i've got multiple ones my favorite 
you know, going up was Ben Hogan. I love Ben Hogan's golf swing. I love Tiger Woods on his golf swing. I like Kobe Bryant because his motivation. I like Michael Jordan because they were so they were so athletic. These are heroes. These are heroes that you know. There, there was a. Those are per, those are guys that we all look up to and try to try to do the. You know, be be more like Jack Nicklaus was another one. You know, you just love the game of golf. I love the game of golf. So that these were a little bit more heroes that I would, that I looked up to. That's a little inspiration there. Yeah, I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> what is your proudest accomplishment? My proudest accomplishment. Well, this is a good one. You know, my proudest accomplishment. I haven't. I haven't. But my biggest accomplishment. I grew up in a in a small town. We had a really small town, and there was like a hundred people in my graduating class. And my biggest accomplishment was was I married the best the best one. I got I, I married the best lady in the world. She I she could have picked. She didn't really have many choices to pick from <laughs> growing up on that. But I was her best choice. So I had I, I married a good lady, and I had a good kid that I, that, that Jake. I, I, those are t those are. Those are my personal accomplishments. I think I really love the most. But you know, my wife could have picked. You know, I was the only one that had teeth. It was when we when we were growing up. I mean, I had hair then too. Well said. Well said. Um, what do you do when you plan to retire? Oh man, what do I do when I plan on retiring? Okay, dude, this is gonna be okay. When I'm gonna do, when I'm gonna do first thing. I want to, I'm not going to retire. Now, my wife probably, she's, she's going to, when she says this, she'll probably say, well, you're not going, you're going to work for a long time. So when I, when I retire, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to teach. I'm going to continue teaching. I want to teach. I'm going to teach until I can't, you know, Wool inspired me to, when, when, we, when we get older, we're going to, we're going to teach. I can do that physically through, through a long time. I'm also going to be that guy at church that want to go, I want to go, um, you know, you, you, you go to these, I sit in church and you go to these Nicaragua, you know, mission things. I want to kind of do that. I want, I want to kind of, I want to, I want to do that because I'm always here at the club and I, I want to do that, you know, and that, but you know, on a lighter side, on a lighter side, when I retire, if the club, if I get so blessed that the club gives me a, a chance to stay here or whatever, to, you know, one of the biggest goals that I'd like to do is I'd like to be on Saturdays and Sundays I would like to thoroughly kick the Gordon group, the Gabriel group, the Coffee group, the Rennie group, the Oxford group. See, I'll be old then. So I'll be able to play them upper tees and I will thoroughly just enjoy beating every one of them and laughing all the way out. Winning, challenge. That's winning a challenge, $6 off Jim Gordon or $20 off Matt Oxford. Cause, or just, just, that would just, that would, I would. It would make your day. Oh, that'd be a great <laughs> retirement. You know, and that's on the lighter note of that, you know. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm sure they're going to like that. Yeah, they'll like that. <laughs> well, since you've called out our members. Oh, yeah. What, what do you love about us here at Dalton Golf and Country Club? Oh, I like about Dalton Country Club. You know, I've been eating over here a lot. I mean, we've been, since Jake's gone, we've been eating a lot over here. The food, I love, I, man, I, love, I could eat here three or four days a week. I love, I love the food. Man, I like, um, I like, I like, I like, I like the golf. I like everything about her. I like her golf course. I love her golf course. I love, I love, I love, I love the range. I love hitting golf balls. You know, the, the thing that you love most about, about Dalton Country Club the members, our members, our, our members are the, de you know, coming from Tennessee, we're a little bit different. Our members at Dalton Country Club, we have a, we have a, it's a different style member. These members that I love, they are the only members I know that can chew you out one day and give you a hug the next. Mm -hmm. and I had Dr. Conger one time chew me out one day and then fix my dinner, then give me a root canal in the day in the pro shop during the member guest. I, I mean, he loved me that one day, but by golly, he took me in and took care of me. So the members, being here 30 years, the members are the, probably the number. They'll chew you out and tell you what they, but then they'll ask you to go play golf it's, with it's them and a, go it's eat a with big them. Family, you don't have to get along, but <laughs> yeah, you can show the love. That's exactly <laughs> right. You'll get you'll get chewed out, but then you'll get invited to go eat with them that night. You yeah. know, that's one thing about Dalton that, that's really different. 
Well, we're gonna we're gonna circle around and, and take an end to this interview here. But <laughs> I hope it's the not last long. thing that we're gonna end with is what is something uh -uh. that we don't know about you? Something we don't don't know about me. There's only you know, for thirty years here at this country club, I have never ever went to the pool and jumped in it. But see, it's not due because I can't swim. I can I can swim and I can go off the diving board. But, you know, probably there's only one person that knows this about me. And, uh, you know, I look, I feel like I look really good naked. <laughs> <laughs> I undered all this clothes because you've never seen me without my shirt off. I don't or know never that I've never seen, seen you in shorts. shorts. Exactly <laughs> right. You'd be surprised what is under this. <laughs> well, thank you for that image, right? <laughs> That's an image that you may not want to uh, want to know, but it's still good to know. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you for the interview and giving us a little insight, a little background on who Russ Austin is. I hope you all have enjoyed it. I hope you have a great Easter weekend, and we'll see you around the club. Thank you.